Whistler is the land of cold fusion, where Eric Peyota leaves tracks that few people can follow. This is sound roll one. Bill Heath, cameraman director, outside of Whistler, BC, approaching the town of Pemberton to interview adventure skier and family man, Eric Peyota. Even though we're far from civilization, it's still easy to find your way around. Private property, gates locked without notice at any time. Well, there must be an explanation for this. Back in 1984, when I first arrived in Whistler, uh, I basically pulled into town with a, a backpack, two pairs of skis, a pair of ski boots, and $60 in my pocket. One must keep a close eye on the road and watch out for animals like deer and bear. My family consists of uh, my wife and my two boys, Logan being the oldest, uh, just turned six, and Dalton is four years old. They're the home entertainment centers, never a dull moment. Uh, a great wife, Parveen, looks after us. The remoteness of this place would explain why someone like Eric Peyota, adventure skier, would turn out the way he did. Before I had kids, uh, time management really didn't matter much. You'd get up if, early in the morning if it was fresh powder, if it wasn't, I'd sleep in a bit. Those days are gone. I've always been the type of person where I, I like people, but I like them best when they're not around. But I think that's where I live in the environment I live in here. The average day starts at about 6 to 6.30 in the morning. Boys are raring to go out of the door at 8, on the lift at 9. Go hard all day, and then it's just a relaxing night around the fire. I was able to buy some, some small acreage here. And, you know, I, I kind of wanted to raise my, my family in a, the same same chance I had when I was a child to, to grow up in the hills of British Columbia. Both Logan and Dalton are involved in the Whistler Valley Kids program, which is a program developed for local kids who grew up in the valley. And it's a program where they basically start skiing when they're three, and they work through that program until they're ready for you know, either a race program or a bump program or whatever they, they're really interested in. I think what's really important for kids today is to get out with their parents. You know, that's what skiing's about. It's a, it's a family and friend affair. You know, make an effort to get out there and ski with your kids. Just to see the smiles on their face and just the, just the love they have for it, it just, it just makes me so proud. Beautiful thing about living in an area like Whistler is, is all the great people you meet. Wendy Brookbank, Richie Slay, and all the people that make Whistler what it is today. I was planning on staying here for a year, and I've stayed here for 13 now. 
In the Whistler Valley, Eric's known for his first ascents, and I try and keep up with him as much as I can. And obviously, it's great skiing with somebody that skis faster than you because it keeps you on your toes. Richie Schley. If he goes first, you never know what you're going to get into because he's so damn powerful and strong and could be the worst snow ever, and you think he's skiing powder, and then when you go, all of a sudden you're realizing that it's not exactly what, it, what you thought it might be. What's probably kept me here is just the great skiing. That's the bottom line. There's a lot of interesting characters in Whistler. It's such a diverse scene, and then in all that, you got Peyota. How many world famous pro skiers have a, a log mill in their backyard? <laughs> because he's such a great Canadian redneck. Uh, I guess uh, I got a little bit of red in me, but. Oh, the redneck sh that Eric does. I mean, he's a redneck through and through. I guess my philosophy is. Live every day like it's, it's your last. Breathe the fresh air, enjoy the blue sky, the snow, the powder. Every day a normal guy, raising a family, enjoying life to its fullest. Eric's decided to raise his family here pass on the power of powder snow to his kids. In the past, men had to pioneer entire ski resorts. Today, wherever snow falls, skiers are out there doing new tricks. Are you ready to play the game? Yeah! the ball, final casting call, first of all, verbal basketball, off the glass, smash your jaw, too fast for y'all, you might take a nasty ball, trying to stick with the biggest or rich passenger, all rep, no physical contact, bounce back, demonstrate, invincible bomb wraps, not no hustling, if you're still too young to drive, this parking structure, just for you, uh, full court press, uh, hands in your chest, running cause I'm a rebel with the ghetto connects, no fouls, just checks, make a brother sweat, work for yours, to earn my reject, get it out of here, increase the fear, ripping with the shears as the crowd just Bring cheers. Bring on the opposition, cause my position is to shut you down as the basketball pounds on the parquet floor. Envisioning moves to freak brothers every which way, dominating like Doc J. Pass me the rock, I know just what to do with it. It's real vivid, I pivot through the lane, 360 behind my back. I'll take your monkey ass to the rack like Jerry I'm sought by most recruiters and heavily recommended. Sticking your best shooters, they lower verbal percentage. The set of metal edges will last for about 5,000 miles of skiing on snow, or about 500 feet riding on rails. At least the local police know where the action is. The game is getting tight, verbal victories in sight. What counts is what you write, not concerned about the hype. My rhymes go baseline, so why you trying to take mine? Last man tried, just died inside the paint line. I bank rhymes, got a call, so I flex. I'm on the foul line with a few versus that. One on one, three on three, five on five, horse 21. It really don't matter, cause son, you'll still get done. Yo, you should know better than trying to barter with this cold trotter. Malicious, vicious dunk, some yeah, Vince Carter. And it's the high draft pick, flashing it, head fake. Still can penetrate, and slightly overweight, but whatever it take my shot can elevate no pain no gain for the brothers with no game are you ready for the real new school